Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. We're back in Skyrim and we're doing the Dawn Guard quests. Um, as you can see behind here, we had another vampire attack uh, while we uh, took a side trip to uh, to Whiterun, uh, but that was dealt with pretty easily. And uh, yeah, we are basically gathering the A team uh, for the Dawn Guard, and uh, we already found uh, the first uh, the first person that's gonna help us, and now. On the map uh, we can see where we have to um, recruit Sorin Jurat uh, Gerard so I did take a quick um, a quick trip to the Broken Tower Redoubt uh, just so that the trip itself would be a little less long and then if I had to go from somewhere else unless maybe it's better for me to take it from um, Volksige, I think actually that would be better because this could be a, a decently bad climb. So let's let's get over there and let's see if we can find the second person to join our team uh, for the Dawn Guard quests. And uh, normally she should have an interest in Dreamer Ruins, so quite possibly we'll have to do something for her there. So let's head over there and check it out. And here we go, loaded up some flowers to grab and we can just continue going on north so that's looking all right um, i'm going to use the swords just a little bit because i uh, still haven't been able to up my enchanting to 100 and oh there comes a dragon so what i'll want to do then is take some f oh actually if you land this quickly a uh, blood dragon that's not the easiest one uh, to take care of let's take a better shout then that could be good let's see shouts let's use storm call that's gonna be nice heal up storm comes in starts destroying everyone and everything in the vicinity and this should be no nope, that's actually my sword so is this better get a couple of uh, flame atronarchs out I can add damage, there we go. And fire some lightning at that blood dragon. Yeah, he's getting he's getting beat pretty badly. Also, is that a draw there? Yeah, draw right. And it took one of my uh, one of my flame atronarchs out. Let's take out let's put the other one back up. And here we go. So that's looking okay. Luckily my mana comes back real fast. And then Let's um, heal Janessa, who is constantly getting hit by my storm calls. That's not the best of spells to use with a companion, apparently. Luckily, I can heal her up, and that'll end pretty soon. Uh, frost resistance could be good for my enchanting. A couple more dragon stuff. Let's make sure she's healed up. And uh, yeah, there we go. Interesting start of our adventure. Let's get the hell out of this storm. And uh, let's see if we can actually continue on with the Dawnguard quests. Uh, I do have some more shouts that I have not unlocked yet. Obviously Stormcall is pretty cool. And let's take back uh, shouts. Unrelenting Force. Just because that one is useful as well in smaller uh, spaces. And we are going to try. Let's have a look at the map here again. Yeah, we're going to try and uh, avoid... Um, any other side quests for the moment and just try and head straight for our target so let's Over keep here. going oh are they are they attacking something again yep there you go some more drawer drawer i think or are these ah for sworn okay um yeah the boots that's okay they don't weigh too much so we can grab that for Enchanting, Iron Dagger, the armor might weigh a little bit too much, but this is okay, and then a Dead North, alright, some more traps here, let's see if they, <laughs> if they fall for them, yep, yep, <laughs> look out where you stand, guys, um, yeah, it sounds like we should still be able to, uh, to get there following this road, And what the hell was that? And we get a hag. Let's see how she likes those guys. 
not very much because she's already dead. And that flame Atronarch in the wild? What the hell? Take that. Not sure where my companion is. She's uh, trailing behind a bit. Oh, there she goes. Good. Steel dagger, good for enchanting. Black mage boots as well. Let's keep going forward a little bit. Maybe get my lightning out since since my small army is here now. And that should still be doable. A night trip, so we might just get some vampires or something at some point. There we get a nice looking camp. Stomping, stomping. Not the most subtle. And here we should should be getting closer. Let's have a quick look if it's not here. No, it's actually a little further down. So let's keep following this here, here. That is bound to be her right here. The small camp. Okay, let's see. Sorin Gerard. Yep, she's the one we need. Just one gyro. One, and I can get back to work. Where are they? All right, let's you see. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I swear I left it right here. Hmm. I think mud crabs might have taken it. I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. <laughs> mud crabs? Just walk around, will you? Isran asked me to find you. Isran? Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... Uh, vampires threaten all oh, Skyrim. We need your help. Vampires. Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? Uh, mentioning an Elder Scrolls seemed to, uh, seemed to convince I... them. Well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. Yeah, of course. It's useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from some place. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Hmm. I don't have any jars well, on I'm me. I'm very sorry, but I can't just walk away from this project yet. We still need your I help. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. All right, uh, let's see if I can actually find that then. Uh, that's empty, so she took that out. Let's see if I can find these uh, these mud crabs or something. Oh, here's actually a bag. Sorry, satchel, some dreamer gyros, gyros. So, really, that was it. That was all I had to do. Just one gyro. I still need your help. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Yeah, I got Maybe seven. This is useful stuff. Here, I've got a dwarven gyro. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? Uh, we're meeting at Fort Dongard. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Farewell. 
Okay, so that was actually pretty easy. And now I'm probably stuck with some gyros in my bag. Yeah, there you go. Uh, let's see, what's up around here? Not a lot, but having a waypoint here could actually be good. So let's check out that cave over there. Uh, in the meantime, there's a wolf. Actually, what I might was I might want a soul for enchanting. So that's one soul capture. There should be two extra soul gems. And uh, let's head for that first cave so that I have a waypoint here. Uh, because I have not explored this in any detail just yet. That might just be useful in the long term. Uh, but yeah, we, we found uh, these two people. So now I have to return to Isran. That's the next quest. Here we go. Darkfall Cave. Let's check that out for a bit then. Loading. Here we are. Let's see what's in here. Maybe we'll go like this. Sneaking a little bit before just rushing in. Normally she goes into... Yeah, exactly. Sneak mode as well. Alright, waterfall. Anything? No. Well, some more shrooms, but that's it. So let's keep going. Ah, here we get some lights and torches, so should be some activity. That's a spider. Oh, she's taken out in one hit. Some spider eggs, and that's it. Okay, let's see what's behind this bridge. Some ore there, and what the hell? Not a lot. Can I go down or something? Nope. I could jump. Let's have a quick look at the map. Uh, there's supposed to be a way over there. Interesting. Yeah, that's what I had to do, obviously. Uh, what the hell? Is happening here let's swim with the current I'm gonna end up alone now. that's that's really not too good uh, whew, where the hell did we end up go away frostbite spider time for some help ah she's with me so that's good let's put an Atronarch on my back as well let's see if I can grab the swords maybe grab a couple more souls there good all right enough with the subtility because um, we just got thrown in the river and it's full of spiders here so light armor increasing I'll gladly grab your soul your next take that right through the spine and another soul captured. So this is gonna end up being a good trip for my enchanting. If I ever find the exit, of course. Actually, the very first time that I do this cave, because I don't remember anything like it before. I wonder, oh, there's another spidery spidery there. A giant frostbite spider. Come and get me. That way my guys can, uh, can start clobbering you. Yeah, she's got some hit points, but uh, she won't last long with all three of them. Soul captured. That's good. Can I just keep going? It does look like it. Right, illuminating plants. Let's see what's up over here. Oh, it's actually gonna be the exit from the look of the uh, the arrow there. See well, mo what more we encounter. My guys are quite a bit behind me, so actually I'll get a summon ready. Yeah, Dead Breton. Darkfall Cave Note. Uh, some stuff to enchant. I'll take that. Steel bolts. Some more plants. 
gold, cure disease, spider eggs, obviously. Torches and troll fat. Oh, actually, I'll take one torch and give it to um, to well, Janessa here. Time, you and I. I'm if that is what you wish. Uh, misc and torch. Where are you? There you go. Let's give that. And then now, if I... And she should take the torch out. No, she doesn't. Alright then. Alright, some more potions, eggs, stuff, grab, loot. I will do. Anything here? No, just a shack where that Breton was sleeping. And we get two ways to go. Higher or lower? Let's, let's see. Lo oh, let's actually read the note first. That could be more interesting. I know that you, you'll you come to f come find me, but it will be too late if you find this letter. Get out of the Forsaken Cave as soon as possible. We were fools to think we could live so close to such creatures. Live peacefully. Should have headed back to camp with the others. One of the trolls decides to finish me off. Uh huh. There should also be trolls here. And that's some traps. Oh, run, run, run. No, I hope she doesn't die. Oh, almost. Put some protection up. And let's see if I can heal her. I hope you're not expecting No need to thank me. And that was my fault. That should be good enough. And get the other summon ready. Here we go. Uh, don't die on me. <laughs> I'd hate to lose another companion on a on a side errand like this. What a weird cave. Or is this where I come from? So have a quick look at the map. No, this is actually undiscovered. That's back to Skyrim. Okay. Definitely pretty gloomy. Large body of water. There are the trolls. Let's see how they like some company. Uh -huh. There they go. And if the other one doesn't find his popping, I can just add him up over there. And then we'll start clobbering some, dro some trolls. Like that. Right, give me their souls. Stop doing that. There you go. Trolls down. Troll fat. A couple more trolls. No problemo. That's a really large cave. Ooh, what the hell have we got here? Shrine to Oriel. See if I can take the blessing. Just in case I have any diseases. Uh, anyone here? Nope. Some more trolls. Get back you. Get other people to deal with small fry like you. I would like the souls though. So that's one captured. Let's go combo style. You're down. Nice, nice, nice. And okay, that's uh, something learned here. Very interesting shrine. This is going to be connected to something. There's just no other way. Uh, an exit over there, maybe. Maybe. So let's go deeper. We're going deeper underground. Oh, and that's right back um, where we found the dead Britain, and this should be the way back to the exit then, normally. Let's run, run, run. Anything here? Nope. The map. Yep, I get it. Cross the path here, and then try to get up there. Okay, right. And another sword and another chain. There you go. That's definitely 
the exploration of this cave. Uh, where the hell did that break? Alright, ah, that's better. I was too close. That's what was happening. And the exit, there you go. We're back at the waterfall. Just need to do a quick roundabout and we are back out. Okay, interesting, very interesting cave. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be related to some quest. And I can't say that I remember this from my previous uh, playthroughs of Skyrim. So it might just be something completely different. Anyways, back to Skyrim we go. We've, uh, we've assembled the team, we made a nice waypoint, interesting adventure there. So I think I'm going to do some enchanting, try and get that to 100. You could really make some awesome stuff with that. And then uh, for the next episode, we'll go back and meet with the leaders. Anyways, that's it for this episode, guys. I'll see you all next time.